I don't condone murder, and I despise murderers. Please, let me go. I saved your life. The Saw movie franchise is known for its intricate and gruesome traps designed by the Jigsaw Killer to test the moral and physical limits of his victims. Here are top 10 characters who might be seen as not deserving of Jigsaw's punishment. Number 10, Bobby Daggett. In Saw 3D 2010, Bobby Daggett is a character who finds himself in Jigsaw's game due to his fraudulent claims of surviving one of Jigsaw's traps for personal gain. Because I hadn't just survived. I was reborn. This was my life. While his actions are exploitative and morally wrong, he never directly harms innocent people, as is the case with some other characters in the Saw series who have committed violent crimes. You are a liar. You and I both know you have never been in a trap, nor have you ever been tested. Some viewers might argue that Bobby's punishment was excessively severe when compared to the nature of his transgressions. His punishment might be seen as disproportionate to his actions. Number 9. Hank Hank is a 52-year-old man who works as a janitor for the insurance company, Umbrella Health. He's a heavy smoker even though he has a history of heart disease. Because of this, he ends up becoming Jigsaw's target. While only 52 years of age, this man has continued to smoke even though he has a history of high blood pressure and heart disease. Hank's character in Saw 6 is indeed portrayed as a victim of circumstances, including his own poor health choices and his employment in the healthcare industry. Some viewers may empathize with him and argue that his situation doesn't warrant being trapped by Jigsaw. <laughs> Number 8. Jeff Denlin Jeff's journey in Saw 3 centers around his obsession with revenge against those he holds responsible for his son's death. Jigsaw sees Jeff as someone who needs to forgive and appreciate life. So he puts him through a series of tests. I forgive him! I forgive him! <laughs> Jeff is deeply traumatized by the death of his son Dylan, who was killed in a car accident. His intense grief and emotional suffering could be seen as punishment enough, and some viewers may find it difficult to justify further harm to a grieving father. I am the person responsible for the loss of your child. I am the only person who knows where your daughter is. She only has a limited supply of air. Number 7. Daniel Rigg Daniel Rigg is a detective and a dedicated law enforcement officer. He's put through a series of deadly tests because Jigsaw believes he's obsessed with saving people to the point of recklessness. Hello, Officer Rigg. Welcome to your rebirth. You wanted to save everyone. Tonight, I give you the opportunity to face your obsession. Some viewers might find it inconsistent with Jigsaw's usual targets, as Riggs' role is to uphold the law and protect society from wrongdoers. His actions, in the context of his profession, might be seen as positive and deserving of protection rather than punishment. You failed your final test. Game over. Number 6. Addison Corday Addison Corday is a prostitute who offers sex for money on the city streets. Addison is targeted by John Kramer because of her profession and relationship with Detective Eric Matthews. She is kidnapped and trapped into a Jigsaw's game. Number 5. Peter Strong Peter Strom is an FBI agent who's investigating the Jigsaw case. His punishment is a result of his obsession with catching Jigsaw and his belief that fellow FBI agent Mark Hoffman is involved with the Jigsaw killings. Hello, Agent Strom. 
If you're hearing this, then you finally found what you've been looking for. But is the discovery of my body enough? Peter Schramm is dedicated to apprehending Jigsaw and putting an end to his deadly games. From Schramm's perspective, he is simply doing his job to protect the public from a serial killer. Some viewers argue that Strom's intentions are not malicious or morally questionable, as is the case with many of Jigsaw's other victims. We were all supposed to die. You were supposed to be the hero. Number 4. Adam Stanai In the original Saw film, Jigsaw kidnaps Adam Stanhyde as part of his Twisted Games. Jigsaw's motive for targeting Adam is linked to his work as a private investigator. Oh, help! Many viewers share the perspective that Adam Stanhyde didn't deserve to be trapped by Jigsaw. Adam is often seen as an unwitting and seemingly an innocent victim who is thrust into a life-threatening situation without understanding why he is there. Number 3. Allison Carey Allison Carey is a detective who appears in multiple Saw films, including Saw 3. Her character serves as a key law enforcement figure investigating Jigsaw's crimes. Hello, Carey. I want to play a game. The device you are wearing is hooked into your ribcage, and by the time this tape is finished, you will have one minute find a way out. Allison Carey's character is a dedicated detective working to apprehend Jigsaw and solve his intricate games. Some viewers might see her as a symbol of justice and law enforcement, making her an unusual choice for Jigsaw's traps. You... Number 2. Sydney. In Saw 3D 2010, Sydney is a character who has an abusive boyfriend and has endured violence from him for a long time. Due to her lack of self-confidence, she finds herself unable to leave him, even though she wants the relationship to end. He was abusive. I, I tried to stop it before. Because she doesn't do anything to protect herself from her abusive boyfriend, she ends up becoming Jigsaw's target. It's a bunch of bullshit. He had to die for you to leave him? Number 1. Lynn Denlin Lynn Denlin is a trauma surgeon who becomes a central figure in Jigsaw's deadly game. Lynn's involvement in Jigsaw's game is a result of her profession, as she is tasked with keeping Jigsaw alive. Her choices are constrained by the circumstances, and she is not a willing participant in Jigsaw's schemes. The device that you're wearing is linked to my heart rate monitor. The second that heart rate monitor flatlines, an explosion will go off in that collar. Her inclusion in the game is seen by some as undeserved, given that she is just a victim caught in the middle of Jigsaw's plan. I said no! She doesn't deserve to go free! You promised. I didn't promise you <gasps> What do you think about these Jigsaw's victims? Do you think they deserve to be punished? Let us know in the comments below. Look at my god arm! What the f am I supposed to learn from this, huh? What am I supposed to learn from this?